Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me in another video. So as you can tell, based on the title today, we are talking about 10 handbags I'm currently obsessing over at the moment. By the way guys, this is my handbag of the day. This is the small Celine 16. I've been mainly wearing my Rose Sophia for the winter season. As I'm filming, there's still snow on the ground, but we are slowly getting towards the summer season. And I know I could wear this in the winter season as well, but I've been kind of obsessed with this being my combination. This is like my current instant outfit combination. You know when I think of these sunglasses, I immediately think of somebody like Julie Palipas or like Veronique Tristram, those kinds of really cool fashion forward kind of ladies. But at the same token, I like to have something like this that feels a little bit, I guess just a little bit more ladylike or something. But let's just get into the bags I'm obsessed with and perhaps I pull the trigger on one of these bags. And by the way, guys, I'm gonna split up my video into my top five new styles and my top five pre-love styles just because we love both on this channel. So the first bag I want to talk about is a bag that I've talked about at length on my channel, but there's new sizes slash new colors. The temptation is just getting so strong. And this is the Joseph Duclos Diane bag. They recently came out with the mini size and it is just so cute. The new colors, they have like this really cute pink, this really nice navy, and then they have Maron Glacé, which translates as ice brown. While I love the mini size of the Diane, if I'm gonna be totally realistic, that 15 centimeters is not gonna fit a phone, I don't think. I'm just not at the stage where I can buy bags that are micro bags, but they have the Diane bag in this absolutely stunning greasery color. It's in the 20 centimeter size. Obviously this is such a me style bag after owning the Celine 16, the Rose Sophia. I also have a Kelly 28, which I never wear. It's just kind of like where I'm at with my style. Side note, Taylor Swift was recently wearing this. I've never really thought of Taylor Swift with as a real like major fashion person. But if I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think this bag is for the fashion girls. I don't think this is for the people that are wearing the latest it most piece. The whole vibe of Joseph Duclos is to focus on the quality, the craftsmanship and the legacy and the history of the brand. We talk about quiet luxury and all that, but to me, this is kind of the embodiment of that, this concept of craftsmanship, focusing on the quality and the design of the bag. Honestly, a part of me just thinks I shouldn't buy anything for spring and just get this bag because I just love this greasery color. I just do. On to the next bag. I saw this bag on, I think it was like on an Instagram account. I think it was like Celine Woman or something like that. It's one of these accounts that posts what's coming at Celine. I recently just sold my Loewe basket bag. I talked about this bag before on my channel. I used it as like a throw around sort of summer baby bag, which is a great for that. It fit in the stroller base really nicely. Great open tote kind of bag, but I just hated how it felt on my body. I didn't find it that like ergonomic. And when I bought it, I bought it very on sale, but I was just like, I'm not using this bag. It's not me. I could sell it, put it towards something else. I do like the idea of having a basket style tote kind of bag. I don't know the material on this. I'm waiting to see this in store or like come online at least. It's not so obvious with the branding. Like they do have like the style with the logo, which I think is a very popular bag for the brand. It's at a nice price point. So yeah, I think this would be like one to consider as like a spring summer bag. Personally, I just have like a little sidekick I have to carry a little bit more with. So I just like the idea of like an open tote, but I want something that fits nice on my body on kind of these basket weavy style bags. Another brand I've talked about before around this time, I start looking at this brand again. It's called Dragon Diffusion. I believe these are hand woven, but there's something about them that feel a little bit more all year round rather than very specific to going on the beach kind of vibes. A lot of them actually look very Bottega with the weave at a much cheaper price point. I was just looking at the Cabot tote bags, which are totally luxurious, super chic. These are very much that like chic, old, old Bottega customer. But again, these are so expensive for like a very similar vibe for a small percentage of what that is. You can get a similar vibe. The thing about the Bottega bags is they're very uniform and exceptionally crafted. Whereas these, there is that kind of like hand touch element, which is a little bit more more visible, which, which I actually think looks nice on these bags. When I see these bags and I look at the price, I'm like, that is a pretty good bag. And I find Dragon Fusion is one of these brands that you can typically find in the sales, typically not always. The price on these are very fair. I think the look is very chic. But because you can get it in different weaves and like the material stiffer, to me, it doesn't feel like a Bottega dupe. Like it actually feels like its own design. So this next bag is much more expensive.
expensive. There's a lot of intricacy and this bag is so expensive, but I actually think it's really nice and it has very much an artisanal look and it's the Loewe Mini Diamond Round Basket Bag. Now this is calfskin, so it's not like a basket material. It's much more expensive. When I saw this bag, I was like, that is not what I typically think of when I think of Loewe. It still could be a part of the brand. What I thought the vibe of this some people are gonna think it's really weird because of it, but I actually really like it. And maybe I'm just thinking of this because David made me see the Dune movies and now I actually like really like them so much so that I just got the book. I know it's not really even the vibe of like Loewe. I just think this is a really unique, special artisanal piece that I haven't seen anywhere else. I'm just putting this on this list because I'm not gonna buy a bag that expensive. Maybe if it comes up on Fashion File and I see it for a discount because I don't think Loewe is like a brand that has really good Resale. Just putting it out there. Again, I think this is a really unique, unusual wild card for Loewe, but I really like it. And then the fifth of new bags I am obsessing over. I'm just gonna gloss over it, guys, because I do not know what to do. It's just like the price is so painful, but I just love it. I'm thinking for the season, do I buy a piece of ready to wear from Phoebe Philo, one of the trench coats, or do I go ahead and buy the drive bag? I know this isn't really what you would typically think of when you think of spring bags, but this is my very particular list here. Every time I go on the Phoebe Philo website, I immediately just go to the drive bag. Do I need this in my life? I love this color. Obviously, I love the clasp bag. Do I buy this or do I buy a piece of ready to wear from Phoebe Philo this season? Also, realistically, this bag is kind of neck and neck with the Joseph Duclos bag. Which do I go for? I'm thinking I should go for the Joseph Duclos and get a piece of Phoebe Philo ready to wear. But I also just love this bag as well. What do you guys think? So now let's go on to my five pre-love picks. So the first bag that I keep adding to favorites whenever I see it on Fashion File or The Real Real. I'm talking about the Celine Small Big Bag. I have a bunch of them safe, but I haven't found the right color slash the price that I think I want to pay for this bag. Especially when I think about how the Celine Conti, this style I've had for a couple years now, is so expensive. Also, Prada has also recently released a bag with this belt detail. This is very similar in vibes to those, but it's a Phoebe Philo era creation. I feel like that's like more me. Not everyone is gonna have it. And I've seen many women still continue to wear this bag and they just look so cool with it. I'll like heart it. Let's just see how far this bag will be discounted or maybe they'll get scooped up. Another style I have been looking at that I feel like I've been looking at for years and years and years. There's something about the boho-ness about it. I don't know if I'm really a boho girl. And I'm talking about these Chloe beaded hobo style bags. Now, I feel like if the right one came up, I would go for it, especially ever since since I saw the Moda Operandi trunk show, the prices of these Chloe pieces were just very expensive. I was even potentially hoping to get a shirt and I was like, mm, no way. A lot of the bag styles were very reminiscent of a lot of these hobo style beaded bags. Again, like I don't think I'm a boho girl, but I feel like I wouldn't wear it in that boho way. I just don't have that Nicole Richie, Sienna Miller, like, you know, that kind of style that these bags embodied back in the day. Also just something I'm also trying to work out this year my spring summer style what that actually looks like a part of it is that's a cool bag but is it my style can i actually wear it that feels like natural to me or is it just going to be something that doesn't actually work with my style the third pre-love bag that i have seen pop up on places like ebay the real real places like that that i've had been tempted to pull the trigger on there was this bag that i don't think anyone talked about that came out from gucci and i think it was because it was during the time period where it was i think like the design team Team that was designing the collections. I, I don't know, I could be wrong. It was that transitioning period between creative directors. When I check the website, this bag is no longer available, but it was the slim Gucci horse bit bag. I didn't particularly love this version of it, but you can find these Gucci slim horse bit vintage styles. I don't know if this is Tom Ford, but I follow this account called the Millennial Decorator. They often post just kind of like more vintage style items and these very pretty feminine setups but they posted this bag a few times and i've also seen it elsewhere it's very much giving that 90s nostalgia but when i look at this style in particular when i think about the trends the office siren or the mob wife that woman would wear something like this i haven't pulled the trigger on it i don't actually think gucci's continuing this i think this was kind of like a one-off from the design team i think it's like a really chic underrated vintage style that you could wear with a pair of like celine sunglasses and manolo blonics and 
and just look like so insanely chic. So the next bag is actually from a brand I don't have any handbags from. People tell me, oh, you need a bag from Prada, you should get a Prada bag. I always think their collections can be like really cool. I don't know if the bags have really stuck with me. However, there's been a couple bags I've liked, but not enough where I'm, oh, I wanna pull the trigger on them. But I actually really like this Prada Spazzolato lap shoulder bag. I forget which collection. I think this was spring, summer, or fall, winter 2023 that we saw these bags. The way the model held them with the strap, it just had this triangular look. And I remember when this bag came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I really like it. I can't handle the price, $4,000 for this little bag. Of course, everything is just crazy expensive. In my mind, I was like, this is just gonna be a seasonal one-off kind of design. Maybe I wait for it to come on the pre-love market. Right now in Fashion File, they have this. I like it, but I feel the strap is really, really long on this. The more I look at it, I'm kind of like, that strap is kind of awkward looking. Maybe it's a sign I shouldn't get this, but this is definitely a much more approachable price to me. Again, I like this, but at the same token, I also just feel like I don't need to have a handbag from every brand. I love the kind of ladylike elements fused with something more modern. I love that. I just feel like there are other brands that kind of resonate with me a little bit more, and their bags on this list where if I'm going to be real are more my style, but I do like this bag. Every time I see it, the temptation is real. And the final bag I want to talk about is actually a bag I haven't heard anybody talk about on YouTube. I just, I don't even think anyone talks about this designer, especially her bag designs. They're very unusual, and I think that's probably why it's not like a typical trapezoid or flap style bag. Styles are actually very unique, and I'm talking about Gabriella Hurst. Now, Gabriella Hurst at Chloe, her bags just did not, frankly, if I'm gonna be totally real, they just were not my style. Was the Chloe Woody her design? I don't know, I could be wrong, but I know that was kind of like the last sort of most popular style. I know she also revived the Edith bag. I did not really resonate with Chloe bags. They just did not speak to me, but her own brand, her bags are actually super underrated, but I just actually think they're so unique and different. And her bags, she does in various exotics from crocodile to snake skin. I think her brand in general is super underrated. When you look at the composition, the emphasis on craftsmanship, there's almost kind of like this almost like folksy kind of vibe about some of her stuff. Not so much her bags, but her ready to wear and just the brand in general. Her line of clothing feels very slow fashion. There's just this real down to earth feeling about her brand. Anyways, I have a couple saved. I think these bags are super underrated and I don't know why more people aren't talking about them. I guess it's because it's such a unique silhouette. It's not like a flat bag or a trapezoid bag or a tote bag. But yes, anyways, that is my video. I would love to know, are there any handbags that you are looking at that you are heavily interested in potentially going to get this season? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me in another one and I hope to see you in the next one.